Well, I, I wanted to make the All Star team, which I did, um, and I also wanted to do the best that I possibly can to help the Knicks to win. And I, I think that when I'm in there, I, I, the team is a, a lot better than uh, when I'm when I'm not there. Um, I guess it is my job to, to do that. One point lead for the Phoenix Suns. Welcome to today's celebrity feature. In this video, we will look at the incredible career of Patrick Aloysius Ewing Sr., his early life, personal life, and the most significant college and professional careers. I will not forget the net worth he has amassed over time and his house tour. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our membership area for more exclusive sports insights. Patrick Ewing is a Jamaican-American basketball coach and former professional player who currently serves as a basketball ambassador for the New York Knicks of the National Basketball Association, NBA, where he spent the majority of his career as a starting center before briefly playing for the Seattle Supersonics and Orlando Magic. Ewing is recognized as one of the greatest centers of all time, having played a pivotal role in the New York Knicks' 1990s triumph. Ewing, a highly recruited center from Cambridge, Massachusetts, played for Georgetown for four years, three of which the club advanced to the NCAA championship game. In 2008, ESPN named him the 16th greatest collegiate basketball player of all time. He spent 17 years in the NBA, mostly with the New York Knicks, where he was an 11-time All-Star and was chosen to seven All-NBA teams. During his time with the Knicks, the team reached the NBA Finals twice, 1994 and 1999. He won gold medals in the 1984 and 1992 Olympics with the United States men's basketball team. Ewing was named one of the 50 greatest NBA players in 1996 and one of the 75 greatest NBA players in 2021. He is A. He was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts twice, once in 2008 for his career and again in 2010 as a part of the 1992 Olympic squad. He was also inducted into the United States Olympic Hall of Fame as a part of the Dream Team in 2009. The Knicks retired as number 33 in 2003. Early Life Carl and Dorothy Ewing gave birth to Ewing on August 5, 1962 in Kingston, Jamaica. He was born a day before Jamaica achieved independence. He was an excellent cricketer and soccer player as a youth. Ewing migrated to the United States in 1975, settling in Cambridge, Massachusetts with his family just outside of Boston. Ewing learned to play basketball at Cambridge Ringe and Latin School with the guidance of John Fountain and his coach, Mike Jarvis. With only a few years of playing experience, Ewing became one of the top high school players in the country, as well as one of the most fearsome forces ever seen at the level due to his stature and athletic ability. Because of his size and the team's dominance, Ewing was exposed to insults and jeers from aggressive away audiences. Rival supporters once rocked the team bus as Ewing's players arrived for an away game. Between 1979 and 1981, Ewing led Cambridge Ringe and Ladin to three straight Massachusetts Division I state titles. To prepare for college, Ewing enrolled in the MIT Wellesley Upward Bound Program, Personal Life Houses, and Net Worth. Ewing married Rita Williams from 1990 to 1998. He has three children, one of which is Patrick Ewing Jr. In July 2001, Ewing testified in a federal trial against an Atlanta club owner charged with promoting prostitution. Ewing told the court that he obtained oral sex from dancers at the club in 1996 and 1997, but did not pay for it and did not believe he was engaging in prostitution. Ewing was never charged with a crime as a result of his interactions at the Gold Club. After a friend and rival NBA center Alonzo Mourning was diagnosed with a kidney condition in 2000, Ewing offered to donate one of his kidneys to Mourning if he ever needed one. In 2003, Ewing was evaluated for kidney compatibility with Morning, but Morning's relative proved to be a superior match. Patrick Ewing Jr. attended Indiana University for two years before transferring to Georgetown, his father's alma school. Patrick Jr. wore the same jersey as his father, number 33. He was picked by the Sacramento Kings in the second round with the 43rd choice in the 2008 NBA draft, but was then moved to the New York Knicks, his father's former franchise has owned multiple homes, including a mansion in Creskill, New Jersey, and a home in Potomac, Maryland. Creskill, New Jersey. Ewing bought this seven-bedroom, 10,524-square-foot brick mansion in 2007 for $6.35 million. The property includes a basketball court, pool, spa, and covered patio. 
Ewing sold the home in 2020 for $2.65 million, taking a $3.7 million loss. Potomac, Maryland, Ewing bought this 14,000 square foot stone manor in 1988 and sold it 12 years later. The property includes a two-story foyer, a two-story living room, and a gourmet kitchen. He has a net worth of $75 million. Early NBA career. As a senior in high school, Ewing signed a letter of intent to play for Coach John Thompson at Georgetown University. Ewing made his declaration in Boston, in front of a room full of admirers who had hoped to see him play for local colleges Boston College or Boston University. When Ewing declared his intention to play at Georgetown, the crowd departed. During his recruitment, Ewing was on the verge of signing a letter of intent to play for Dean Smith and the University of North Carolina. But while on his recruiting tour, he observed a nearby Ku Klux Klan event, which convinced him not to go there. Ewing made six recruiting trips in all, including UCLA and Villanova. As a freshman during the 1981-82 season, Ewing was one of the first collegiate athletes to start and star on the varsity squad. That season... Ewing led the Hoyas to their second Big East Tournament Championship and a number one seed in the NCAA Tournament. The Hoyas progressed to their first Final Four since 1943, defeating the University of Louisville 50-46 to set up a matchup with North Carolina in the NCAA Finals. Ewing and the Hoyas started the 1982-83 season as the second-seeded team in the country. The early season game against number one rated Virginia and its star center Ralph Sampson was called the Game of the Decade. Virginia's season squad won 68-63. Although Ewing won slam dunk straight over Sampson, establishing Ewing as a dominant big man, the Hoyas finished the season with a 22-10 record and earned another NCAA tournament participation, although they were beaten in the second round by Memphis State. In 1983-84, Ewing led Georgetown to the Big East regular season and tournament championships, as well as another number one seed in the NCAA tournament. Additionally, he was selected Big East Player of the Year. The Hoyas eventually moved to the Final Four for the third time in school history and the second time with Ewing to play Kentucky, a team headed by the Twin Towers of Sam Bowie and Melvin Turpin that had never lost a national semifinal game. Georgetown spent the bulk of the 1984-85 season. Ewing's senior year ranked first in the country. Ewing was voted Big East Player of the Year again, and the team won the Big East Tournament once more. They entered the NCAA tournament as the number one overall seed in the East region, and they advanced to their third Final Four in four years. Georgetown met their Big East rivals, St. John's and Chris Mullen, in the national semifinals, their fourth meeting of the season. Ewing's four-year collegiate career is widely regarded as one of the most successful of all time. Among his numerous accomplishments, he led Georgetown to the NCAA tournament championship game three out of four years, won three Big East tournament crowns, for Big East Defensive Player of the Year honors and was voted a first-team All-American three times. NBA career, New York Knicks, 1985-2000. to The Knicks picked Ewing as predicted, and the two began a 15-year friendship. They subsequently signed him to a 10-year, $32 million contract, which the New York Times later called a tremendous contract at that time or any time. Despite injuries in his first year in the league, he was awarded NBA Rookie of the Year and to the NBA All-Rookie First Team after averaging 20 points, 9 rebounds, and 2 blocks per game. He quickly established himself as one of the league's top centers. Ewing had a remarkable career, having been selected an NBA All-Star 11 times, All-NBA First Team once, All-NBA Second Team 6 times, and NBA All-Defensive Second Team 3 times. He was a part of the original Dream Team for the 1992 Olympics. He was also voted one of the 50 greatest NBA players in history. The Knicks faced Michael Jordan and the reigning NBA champion Chicago Bulls in the Eastern Conference semifinals in 1992. In Game 1, Ewing was dominant, finishing with 34 points, 16 rebounds, and 6 blocks as the Knicks defeated Chicago 94-89. In Game 6, Ewing produced one of the best performances of his career as the Knicks were on the verge of elimination. The club was behind 3-2 in the series, and Ewing was physically handicapped by a serious ankle sprain, yet he scored 27 points to help the Knicks defeat the Bulls 100-86. NBC commentator Marv Albert described it as a Willis Reed-type performance, but the Knicks were eventually ousted in Game 7 by a 110-81 score. In an April 14, 1993, game against the Charlotte Hornets, the 7 feet 0 inches, 2.13 meters, 
Ewing was embarrassed when Muggsy Bogues, the Hornets' 5-foot, 3-inch, 1.60M point guard, managed to knock the ball away as Ewing was shooting. When the club led 2-0 over Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls, it appeared like they would proceed to the NBA Finals. Both sides fought hard, with each winning on its home floor in the first four games. However, the Bulls surprised the Ewing-led Knicks, winning Game 5 in New York 97-94 when Ewing's teammate, Charles Smith, was repeatedly stopped down low by Bulls defenders on the game's last play. The Bulls would depart. They went on to win Game 6 96-88 and won their third consecutive NBA title. This would be one more season without a title for Ewing. Even though the Knicks had the best regular season record in the Eastern Conference at 60-22 and the second best record in the NBA, trailing only the Phoenix Suns at 62-20. The next year, Ewing's potential game-tying finger roll rimmed out in the waning seconds of Game 7 of the Eastern Conference semifinals, culminating in a defeat to the Indiana Pacers. In the 1995-96 season, Ewing and the Knicks were defeated in five games in the Eastern Conference semifinals by the record-breaking Bulls, who won 72 games and won their fourth championship. In the next season, Ewing and the Knicks finished as the eighth seed in the East after a lockout-shortened season. Despite an Achilles tendon injury, Ewing led the Knicks to a 3-2 triumph against the Heat in the first round. In the series clinching Game 5, he scored 22 points and grabbed 11 rebounds. They then swept the Atlanta Hawks and beat the Pacers in the conference finals in six games, despite Ewing's injury taking him out of action. However, the Knicks were unable to finish their Cinderella run, losing 4-1 in the finals against the San Antonio Spurs. In Ewing's final season with the Knicks, 1999-2000, the club finished third in the East, trailing the Pacers in heat. The club got to the conference finals for the third year in a row, sweeping the Toronto Raptors and defeating the Heat in seven games, but were unable to defeat the Pacers and lost in six games. In his final year with the Knicks, Ewing hit a game-winning slam dunk over Alonzo Mourning in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals to propel the team to the Eastern Conference Finals. During his final season with the Knicks, Ewing played in his 1,000th NBA game, concluding with a franchise record 1,039 games played in a Knicks uniform. Post-Knicks career, Ewing asked for a trade from New York during the 2000 offseason, and the Knicks agreed, sending him to the Seattle Supersonics in a four-team trade that also sent Chris Dudley to Phoenix. In exchange, the Knicks received two first-round draft picks from Seattle and the Los Angeles Lakers, two second-round picks from Seattle, and Glenn Rice, Luke Longley, Travis Knight, Vladimir Stepania, Lazaro Burrell, and Vernon Maxwell. On September 18, 2002, he announced his retirement following a season with the Orlando Magic and another with the Supersonics. He accepted a position with the Washington Wizards as an assistant coach following that season. Ewing averaged 21.0 points, 9.8 rebounds, and 2.4 blocks per game in 1,183 games over 17 seasons, which was better than 50% of shots made. With 24,815 points as of 2021, Ewing was ranked 23rd on the NBA scoring chart. Ewing participated in 1,039 Knicks games. In a grand ceremony held at Madison Square Garden on February 28, 2003, the franchise retired his number 33 jersey. Ewing made his NBA Draft Lottery debut on May 14, 2019, representing the Knicks for the first time. In the 2019 NBA Draft, they were selected with the third overall choice. The news broke in October 2024 that Ewing would return to the Knicks as a basketball ambassador. National team career As a member of the U.S. men's basketball team in 1984 and 1992, Ewing earned gold medals in the Olympics. Ewing was the tournament's top shot blocker in 1984, with 11.0 points in eight games. The 1992 Dream Team was described as the greatest collection of basketball talent on the planet by the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Even though he did not win an NBA championship, he was a decorated player who won several awards and accolades. Achievements of Patrick Ewing College, most outstanding player in the NCAA Basketball Tournament, 1984. 1988 NAB Player of the Year, 1985 AP College Player of the Year, and 1985 Naismith College Player of the Year, 1985 Sports News College Player of the Year, the 1985 Adolph Rupp Trophy, NBA, 1986 Rookie of the Year, 
NBA All-Defensive Second Team, 1988-1989-1992. All-NBA First Team, 1990. All-NBA Second Team, 1988-1989-1991-1992-1993-1997. One of the 50 greatest players in NBA history, 1996. 11-time All-Star. Two-time gold medalist in the Olympics, 1984-1992. Other, the New York Knicks number 33 retired. Inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame, both as an individual in 2008 and as a part of the Dream Team in 2010. The 75th Anniversary Team of the NBA. Thanks for watching. Shoot us a comment in the comment section about Patrick.